Yeah, he did. That was a uh, that was an excellent effort and production. I mean, everything you could ask for going into the game, uh, I think he exceeded just just by being able to get into the fifth um, is one thing. Get into the fifth with all those punch outs and and really keeping the game under control is another. And then on top of that, it's a one run game. I mean, that's um, that's pretty pretty special performance out of him and, and exactly what we needed. Yeah, no, I mean, I told him, I, w I, I wanted to go out and tell him, I mean, I, you know, you get to the fifth inning and everybody knows, like everybody, you know, knows that there's a, there's an anxiousness to the, to getting the win. He'd pitched well enough and, and I, and I know nowadays wins are, are, are sort of what they are, right? But to a pitcher, it matters. And, and I wanted to let him know I was doing what was in the best interest of him and in the best interest of the team. You know, I'm bringing in Davinsky, shows exactly where I think the game is, um, and I wanted to tell him I was proud of him. I wanted to say, like, look, you did everything that we asked tonight. You stepped up and did. And 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 for that moment, for the for the for the infielders to come in, be able to pat him on the rear end and say, uh, say good job, have him walk off the field. That was uh, that's what I said. And you tapped him right on the heart, right on the chest with that ball. Right yeah, no, I mean that's I mean I do that a lot with our guys. I mean I, these guys put everything into their outings. So especially tonight, I know it meant a lot to Brad. He he didn't get, you know he wanted to be a starter in the spring. He's done exceptionally well in the bullpen, and, and then stepping up big for his team is, is a good day. Well, I like that start. I mean, it doesn't happen very often against these three hitters. Um, but, I, but yeah, I, I felt like he was, he was very calm and under control. You know, he started the game in the stretch, uh, which is unique for starting a game. He, didn't, he wanted to go out of the stretch like he'd been as a reliever for the whole year. Um, and then it just looked like he had a little extra and, and, and made pitches. You know, he um, he just did a really good job of pitching, and he used all four of his pitches. He he competed very well. So um, you know, I, I, I always feel good when he's pitching. Like he's had a really good season. He just had never been pitching in the first inning this year. But but I was very comfortable with him. Yeah, you know, we knew we knew we were going to need to use a few, um, just given the way the game was going to start. Um, but if you'd drawn it up, I, I probably would have said I'd love Peacock to hand it to Devo, to hand it to Harris, to hand it to Giles, and and it played itself out just like that. And and all of our guys, I mean, when, with a one run game, you have zero room for error. And and those guys coming in, and you know, Davinsky coming in, putting uh, the end of that the the fifth inning, and then continuing on for two more innings. Um, and then Harris coming up big, and, and Giles, you know, on back-to-back -back nights, I used him yesterday to, to get him some work, and then tonight was, you know, was excellent save. How tough is Fulmer to one run? He's really good, and I mean, he's really good. And I think our guys, you know, were a little uncomfortable with just the, just his max effort and and his arm strength. His ball was moving all over the place. He's, you know, he's got a power cutter slider thing. He's got a changeup that looks like a split. You know, he dialed it up late, 96 to 98. Um, he's just a really good pitcher. We beat a really good pitcher. We, you, know, you never know when you're going to get your runs off of him. Um, and lo and behold, it was it was a, a simple leadoff walk by George and a and a runner in motion double down the line. And and it started out. We put good at bats against him and battled him. We put ourselves in position to score. We left a few guys on base, uh, but good guys like him don't give up a ton. And we didn't get a ton. We didn't need a ton, but we we got one at the right time. Yeah, no, they they uh, they've got a they've got a tough lineup, and I and you know what we faced was it two over the minimum, three over the minimum. So the double play was big. The 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 Gattis throwing the guy out at second was big. Um, kind of erased any sort of uh, action that they had. So um, I'm not sure we could have pitched a better game. I'm sure you know obviously we would love to have had 27 up and 27 down, but we'll take the take the results as is. I was going to ask him where he was going to dinner tonight. Um, you know, <laughs> I need to get in the way of between Marwin and, and, and the umpire just because there's some volatility there. And, and he was upset over the, a pitch earlier in the, in the at-bat. Um, you know, and I, didn't, I, had, I had a catcher and an outfielder on the bench. So I um, wanted to make sure there was, there was no, uh, no conversation to be had. Although you had nine hits total tonight, Springer, Uriel are on a hit list streak right now. What are you seeing from their swings, their approach? Uh, no, I mean, not, they're, they're fine. I mean, Gurriel had a hit to right center. So, um, you know, George drew the leadoff walk and scored the only run of the game. So I think you find a way 
to get some hits when you can. And, and George makes a dive and play in center. So if you're not going to get any hits, you draw a walk, you take away a hit. Um, you know, I think that's what you're trying to do with coming to the ballpark every day. So those guys will be fine. They'll be, they'll be uh, exceptional contributors for us. And maybe tonight wasn't a perfect night for them, but it was still a pretty good team win. Yeah, you know, over the last couple of seasons, the guys that have been here have seen him do a little bit of everything, and, and he's had to overcome a few injuries. And um, he doesn't say much; he just shows up and does his job. So, easy guy to root for. You know, he, he's uh, he's got a good personality once you once you crack the the even keeled sh you know shell. But um, that bullpen's pretty tight. That's a team within a team. So when one of their guys, uh, one of their, their their teammates in the that they're in the duck in the in the bullpen with, gets an opportunity like this, it, it doesn't surprise me they're pulling for him.